All right, so we're gonna build this tic-tac-toe game. Um, it may seem a little complicated, but it's actually really simple, and I think you'll be surprised to see how simple it is. Uh, basically, we'll have two players. Okay, the first player will go, and they'll get a green O. Next player will get a red X, okay, and they'll keep alternating until someone wins. Okay, when they win, they'll get an alert that says the name of the winner, if it's O or X, um, and then you can reset the game. And if you click in a space and then you try to click there again, it's going to tell you that it's filled already. Um, some other scenarios, if no one wins, let's try that. Okay, so we try to go again and it's going to say that it's a tie game. All right. So a lot of this is going to be done with jQuery, just um, adding and removing certain classes. All right, so let's go ahead and create the HTML. All right, we'll create a folder called tic-tac-toe. Okay, we want our HTML file. We want a CSS folder and a JavaScript folder. And we'll create a script.js file. And we need our style CSS file. Okay, so now let's open all three of these. And we'll start with the HTML. Okay, and here we'll put a title. Let's say play tic tac toe. And we need to link our style sheet. Okay, and our JavaScript file. Oops. All right, so the body, now this is actually going to be pretty simple. We're just going to basically create an unordered list with nine list items. All right, but first we want to put them in a container. And let's see, we'll have a header. Okay, the header will hold an H1, and we'll just say tic-tac-toe. And then we'll have our UL, and we'll have an ID of board. Okay, and each list item will start with just a plus sign. And it should have an ID, say spot one. Okay, and we need nine of these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we want spot one through spot nine. And then under that, under the UL, we want to just clear it. So we're going to create a div with a class of clear fix all right and then just have a footer and that's where the reset button is going to go so button give it an ID of reset We also need to 
uh, include jQuery. So I'm going to get the Google CDN. And that's it for the HTML. So let's take a look. It's not going to look very good. Uh, oh, for the CDN, just going to add that. And that's it. That's what our board looks like without CSS. All right, so in the next video, we will make this look like this.